Welcome once again to our classroom series and uh, we have been looking at how to do number system conversions. In a previous video we have already looked at how you can convert the decimal number system to the binary, to octal and to hexadecimal. In this video we are continuing with that class to look at how you do the same conversions from decimal to these three but now where you have a decimal number that is a fraction for example 0 0.5 is a fraction that is a half 0 0.25 that's a quarter so we are going to be looking at how you can convert the fractions from decimal to binary octal and hexadecimal without further ado let's begin by looking at how you can convert a decimal fraction into binary number system an example is 0 0.5 if you want to have it in binary how do you proceed of course the base is 2 so here the method is you will multiply your decimal number which is 0 0.5 by the base of the target number system and the answer you get you note down the whole number and the fraction part so 0 0.5 by 2 is 1.0 the whole number is 1 and the fraction is 0 the rule is you will repeat remultiplying the fraction part of your answer until it gets to 0 now in this example 0 0.5 by 2 we already have the fraction part being 0 so this is where we stop and you take note of your whole numbers in a forward order so this one will just be 0 0.1 base 2. So let's look at another example. 0 0.25 to binary. Now in this case, once again, we multiply our decimal number by the base of the target number system. And then we note our answer, 0 0.25 by 2 will give you 0 0.5. The rule is remultiply the fraction part of the answers, that's the products, until it gets to 0. So we take 0 0.5 and repeat the multiplication by 2. This gives you 1.0. Now at this point, our fraction of the product is 0. So that's where we stop. And then we note down the whole number parts of our products, beginning with 0 and then 1. So our answer is 0 0.0101. Let's get a last example. Let's say 0 0.125 to binary. So how do you proceed with that? So to proceed with that, it will be 0 0.125 times 2, and you get 0 0.25. Take 0 0.25 times 2, you get 0 0.5. Take 0 0.5 times 2, you get 1.0. So our fraction is now 0. So we read our whole numbers downwards, which gives us 0 0.001. And that is our result. So I hope that is simple enough to convert a fraction from decimal to binary, multiply it by 2, noting down the products, and you repeat remultiplication of the fraction from the product until the fraction of the product becomes 0. Now we move on to look at decimal fractions conversion to octal. Now we'll repeat the same examples we have done. 0 0.5 to octal, 0 0.25 to octal, and 0 0.125 to octal. So 0 0.5, we'll multiply that 
by 8, which is the base for octal. And that gives you 0 0.5. That gives you 4.0. And our fraction part is already 0. So our answer is 0 0.4 base 8. 0 0.25. Multiply that by 8 gives you 2.0. And our fraction is already 0. So our answer is 0 0.2. That's 8. 0 0.125 by 8 gives you 1.0. The fraction is already 0, so the answer is 0 0.1. Remember, we are reading the whole number of our products in forward order. Now, let's look at a bigger fraction that is a fraction with more digits just to help us see how it can uh, work out let's say 0 0.1 2 4 5 5 converting this to octal so with the help of my calculator we are going to do the same 0 0.12455 by 8 which gives you 0 0.9964 so we repeat multiplying 0 0.9964 by 8 and that gives you 7.9712 so we will repeat multiplying the fraction part of the product until it becomes zero or it starts repeating recurring so 0 0.9712 by 8 gives you 7.7696 0 0.7696 times 8 gives you 6.1568 0 0.1568 by 8 gives you 1.2544 0 0.2544 by 8 will give you 2.0352 0 0.0352 by 8 will give you 0 0.2816 so you, you proceed that way you get the the point until your fraction part of the product is zero or it starts recurring and then you take note of your whole numbers in forward order so that for, a, for instance if this is where we should be stopping then our answer would be zero point zero seven seven six one two zero and so on and so forth so i think we get the idea that is how we can convert fractions of decimal numbers into the octal number system lastly we want to look at how you can do the same conversion with the hexadecimal and the procedure is the same the difference is the base with which you are multiplying so you take for example, 0 0.5, you'll multiply that by 16, uh, you get 8.0, and therefore your answer is 0 0.8, and the base is 16, and so on and so forth. 0 
converting it to hexadecimal, you multiply by 16, which you get 4.0, and the answer is 0 0.4 by 16. 0 0.125 by 16 will give you 2.0, therefore your answer is 0 0.2 by 16. So friends, that is how we can work out conversions of decimal fractions into the various other number systems like the binary number system, octal and hexadecimal. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you find it helpful, please subscribe, share with your friends and we'll do something else in our next video.